Okay, so everything is a slime. Oh, <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, man. Okay. This is, this is crazy. <laughs> Sleeping bomb not so effective when they split into the multiple copies. I need a big first hit, which Sleep Mom helps with actually. <laughs> yeah, bow, bow is pretty strong. But uh, this challenge could be quite hard depending on what the enemies are. They'll all still have all their abilities. That's what we have to remember. That's the thing about slimes. Slimes don't really actually have active abilities to use. Whereas, uh... Oh. Oh. Um, yeah. Okay, spawn is split as well, so... Okay, split enemies don't give XP, so I can't farm split spawners. Which is what I was just thinking of trying to do. That's how it should work. Be reasonable. Uh, yes, if I shoot stuff and I don't have enough time to kill everything, I actually make my own problem worse. Gotta remember that. I was kind of hoping to get one of them there. Let's sleep you, kill you. Enemies can split themselves. Okay. Uh, archers. <laughs> ah, they can split into pits. Can slime split into pits? Possibly. I'm not sure if they can. I don't recall seeing slime split into pits, but again, I haven't been paying the most attention. I will use that. Is that two or four? Ah, uh, do these split? Okay, summons don't split. Thank goodness. Oh, they're all going to summon. Every single split one is going to summon. That's what I was just saying before, is that um, slimes don't have special abilities. You don't notice when they split because they they can't all keep using the same abilities. That makes sense. I don't want to hit that guy. Okay, this will do. Yeah, because multiple slavers sucks. Big first hit. Uh... Okay. Shoot you. Yes, multiple fireballs gonna be coming. Uh, it's actually, let's go this way. Stand in the water. Take less damage. You're gonna split and that's gonna be annoying. Let's get a double crit. What determines splitting twice? Is there ever situations where they don't split twice? Does it depend on how much damage you deal? Double crits. Fire shrooms dealing enough damage that they're not splitting. Okay, 25% HP is the margin, which is why bats never split. I was wondering why those bats weren't splitting before. That would be why. Okay, these guys are dangerous. As they'll all split and summon. Huh. Six damage though. I should drink this when I'm at max. I outrange. I should use it. Grab this and then run over this way. And I didn't use the experience pot, even though I said I would. I should try and use this. Wait, they do split. They just I must have dealt enough damage last time. Uh okay. Let's hope we can kill all these guys. I'm sleeping you so you get hit like that. Which one summoned? That one summoned. Okay, a food. Chaos Priest? How do you kill a splitting Chaos Priest? Um, is the Chaos Priest going to bring everything back to max HP? <laughs> Sleeping Mom's good at the <laughs> challenges? Nah, I don't believe you. Sleeping Mom can't... Nah, nah, nah. No way Sleeping Mom's actually good at something. Uh, I want that. And I think I hold for it. Oh, oops, it split forward and I didn't think about it. That's nice. Where's the boss? Boss is going to split as well. Uh, we want a big first hit to try and reduce the HP as much as possible. When everything starts splitting twice due to HP amount, that's going to be annoying. Like DT mages. 
Uh, we'll find out when I need to need to use it, I guess. Okay, it's the healer boss, I think. If it's if it's uh, the regening boss, then we're in trouble. Use that water for those crits. Yeah, it is the healer boss. Let's just pull everything else. Oh, it's gonna wake up. I forgot. Sleeping mom wakes everything up now. Uh, the heal is gonna be a problem if it heals these to max HP. So I need to kill the splits. We don't want to be abusing that kind of thing. Oops, there's... Yeah. Okay, I messed up here. I need to drop the healer off. That should drop him off, hopefully, because I've just went into a dead end. It, it did, just. Okay, sleeping bomb. And I actually want to hit the one I sleeping bombed. Because that way it gets uh, less HP on the splits. I'm going to wait until I have Sleeping Bomb. Okay. Sleep you. The healer's out here with one more. So we're going to do this. And hopefully kill all of these splits. Or the healer's back. That's going to get healed, actually. Pasted. Please don't heal. I could do this and then speed point back, finish that off. Uh, does that split again? Wait, if they get, yeah, if they get healed, they keep splitting. Okay, how do I kill a splitting healing boss? Uh, this corridor. I've got that to run back to. I've got this if I need. Wait, no, he's going to split a healer behind himself. Okay, um, that's a problem, because then the heal is going to heal him. So if I have a healer stuck behind him, he won't be able to split more. So I think I'm going to do this. I don't think sleep adds another crit. So I got the experience, and I got the item. And I leave that guy there because <laughs> the same thing will happen if I kill if I hit him, he'll just split into a Actually I could have tested if if you fixed dropping items, because there's the possibility you didn't think of the fact you're gonna drop more items. Ha! Huh, these split eels are hidden. They won't actually attack. That's actually super useful. Otherwise they'd be so deadly just from the sheer amount of damage they'd do. I forgot to uh, actually hit that one. Get the sleeping bomb first. Okay, I won't abuse the dropping items. Yeah, didn't make sense to kill that one. Okay, we got sleeping bomb level two. <laughs> Thank you, game. Uh, I'm not sure if I can run away far enough in four turns. Because, unfortunately, I can't run this. I want to run in this direction over here, but I can't. So I'll probably be too close. They probably still aggro. But if I shoot one of these, I'll have two of them on me with four speed points, and I'll get a sleeping one back. No, I'm going to have more than two of them on me, but... Yeah, I can re-sleep that lot. Kill this spider. Uh, I can perma-sleep them. It's just, at some point, I would have to... Uh, run away I'd have to do something eventually oh I could just sleep them twice and then they'd forget about me when I left that's probably what you mean yeah I could have done that I forgot I just got level 2 sleeping bomb I want the crits I want sleeping bomb back off as well I can do this oh. okay yeah, yeah yeah I need to I need to sleep them again did I just turn one of them into two yeah I need to have my sleeping bomb off This is annoying, okay. Healers are a pain. <laughs> oh. Chaos Priests are going to multiply an entire level into an infinite amount of enemies. That's definitely going to happen. Yeah, I can uh, sleep them so that I can turn it into fair fight. 
Of course. I should have got a bigger first hit. Oops, it still hit me. What it's gonna be like when everything has more HP as well. Okay, just try and clean these guys up. On the water, please. A slime like what? A healing slime? <laughs> what, a slime with a... Healing touch. <laughs> oh, oh, that's brutal. <laughs> healing touch. That's actually pretty funny, yeah. But any active ability on slimes is just nasty. Okay, we'll take that HP in a moment. I think Barbarian may have been able to handle this, but it might have also gotten overwhelmed. 10 damage, that is my biggest first strike now. Oh, power shot, awesome. That is the exact ability I needed. That's why I wanted to do this as Ranger. Because now I can one-shot things. Force heals. Okay, I need to heal. Uh, Get rid of the healer like this. Yeah, now we're set. Oops. Hits. Need to get that cooldown down to the lowest possible. Power shot makes all the difference because we can get that big first hit as opposed to having no actual damage ability on the rogue. And there we go, power shot level 2, so cooldown and increased damage. It should pop all of these guys if they're asleep in pretty much one hit. Bees, there's going to be a lot of bees there. What I'll do is this. Okay. Pulled more than I wanted to. That should get one of them there. We're not flying because we're human, should remember that. That should die in one hit. Stops the spawner from splitting. Okay, now we're talking. This is going to be so much easier. Kill those healers. Now uh, let's sleep that. It actually makes sense to... Actually, that's a crit. Yep. Why was I standing next to that? Oh, come on. Sleep. That's a boss. Um... You reckon I'm going to wipe the Yenda? Oh! Oh! Yeah. Huh. He doesn't heal, so I'm going to split, so he's going to split into two, and then each of those will split into two, so I'm going to have four Yenders? Am I going to have four Yenders to deal with? Exactly how many Yenders am I going to have, is the question. Ah, it woke up, unfortunate. Oh, whoa, 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 why is my HP so low? Because I'm a little bit silly. Hit that. Power shots. Okay, yeah, we're good. Breathlet, tell me how many Yenders I'm going to face if I don't kill any of them. Uh, how many Yenders are there going to be in total? Oh, that's a better bow, but that's a lot of damage. I want to know if I can uh, crowd control that many. I have to split him to max vanish. Like, so if he doesn't heal and you keep hitting a Yender, like, one becomes two with 200 HP and then two become four with 100 HP and then they're at 25% so they don't split. So I should have four Yenders as long as there's no healer, is my understanding of the situation. Let's do this. I do kind of want that bow. Or is there, yeah. Uh, let's sweep this. Kill that one. Let's 
So it splits twice? Okay, I got the sleep. I think I sleep this guy twice. Yeah, no, I'll kill one of these. Should have my speed points back. Okay, this guy's gonna split a lot. Okay, I take back my plan about killing this. Um, how do I do it? How do I do it? Um, sleeping bomb, crowd control, and hope I can keep them all slept. I need all my HP back. This is dangerous. What? Are you kidding me? They split like that. Okay, perfect. Please stay right there. And then I gotta hope he doesn't... Okay, he did split. I can make javelins. Oh dear god. I can make these guys, I mean. But they're all gonna get wrecked. Okay, they split into whatever that is. I need one of them to die. Why didn't you drop the bow? I need to sleep some of you. There's a bow. A pretty poor effort at the uh, TP, I think. Okay, I'm going to have to just go again. Yep, I have no other choice. Even if I ate the food. Yep. Oh, that, that for a bow. I knew that probably would end up rather bad, but I wanted to try. Why did Power Shot screw me there? What could I have done differently? Okay. Yeah, that went well. Tough. Yeah, I'm not sure what I could have done differently. Oh, the way it knocked him back. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, now, now I see what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, but he still split more than I thought he would, which uh, caused problems. If Yender splits that much, it's going to be fun. Plus, I'm going to have to... Do I have to kill the original one to get the portal? Is that how it works? I need killing strikes, which means I need a lot of strength. Even that's not going to super help. I pit trapped, I believe. Yep. Took a lot of load. Let's go back up. Now I'm going to handle Yenda. I need Vanish. I have Vanish, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, Yenda's going to swarm me, and that's what's going to happen. I need to sleep and bomb him. Uh, Net doesn't add crits, then I need to power shot him. And uh, go from there. 400 HP. Stacking this HP up. Yeah, I mean, that would be a big issue, I guess. I don't have perfect aim. Just run. I want to get the crit on you. Good enough. I don't want to split that, so no point shooting it. Take out the mage, I guess. <laughs> well, why do you think Yenda specifically would end up with Nan HP when all the other enemies work? Oh, we'll see when we get there. I'm worried about just how to win the fight if it plays out as you would expect. Which is going to be complicated. Oh no, they're going to split, so I may as well shoot it to get the most out of that. Oh. Uh, vanish, can't get it yet. One more dex. I just wait. Oh, I see, I see. So they're all going to come out with max HP. 
Oh, okay, yeah. Um, why didn't... Yeah, that did split. I'm gonna actually do the sewers here, because... I want more stuff. I need to get as strong as possible. Prefer that on... No, that's only shock resistance, actually. Uh, keep it where it is. Oh, hello. Grave attack help me. Talent points into... Like, one in this, and I need more damage for the crit against Yenda. 40% extra crit damage. I need that biggest crit possible. More crit damage will make everything smaller. That's kind of the play. That's why I took precision there. This is probably a whole bunch of rats or snakes. Either way, we run over here. That one. Sleep you. I want to get big sleep crits or unstable crits. Nice. You should die pretty easily. Extra crit damage helping a fair bunch here, I think. Question of energy. Vanish will be huge, yes. Means I'll be able to escape after I've messed up. Unaware. Hmm, just trying to think of how I can deal the single biggest strike to Yendo. I'm pretty sure that the. Oops. That sleep and nets. Give the same critical hit, so there's no point sleeping and netting. It doesn't give separate critical hits. It's unstable terrain that gives the other type. Ah, oh, I didn't actually know the switch could be there. So these are gonna split. So I wanna pop, oh, run away, sleep it. Same thing. Ring of Fire, we'll take it. Happy. Need to get as strong as possible. Nets make something unstable. Huh, so if I net Yender and then sleep him, I will get a double crit. So net, sleep, power pot, power shot. Is my way to get Yender to the lowest amount of HP. And I also want... Uh, this is going to split as well. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to run away so I can deal with those two. Hmm. Uh, killing turrets is annoying, so let's see if we don't have to. How many turns does that last for? I need to get one int to increase that by at least one turn. Okay, hopefully this is just rats. Oh! Oh, it's just slimes. I was half expecting them to like double split or something. Leave that, power shots, use that. There's multi hits. Oops, thought that would kill it for sure. We need to hope we get at least the compound bow as well, as we want the increased base damage. I'm gonna sleep one of them. I don't really need to do that for coins, but that is something good. Leave that one over here. Oh, that's just a food. But it's also experience, so we'll take it. Mm. I say that and then I don't take the experience. Where are the stairs down here? Please don't be slimes. Uh, um, 
do I kill this boss? Such an annoying boss. Wait, will this boss split differently to normal? If it does, that's pretty much impossible to kill. Because each of his splits, are they going to like act like different splits? You know what I mean? Yes, so he's going to be impossible to kill. So I'd have to blink over the top. And the question is, do I even want to? Oh, of course that splits. Yeah, but... <laughs> nah, it's not gonna work. Um, I'm just gonna leave now. I got the talent point, I got additional experience. Pretty happy with what we got there. Go do the other one. Not having perfect aim is painful. Yes. Out of range. I'm actually debating whether I need to aim for strength now. Do I want killing strikes against Yenda? Will that significantly help? Yes, you play with a bunch of crazy abilities. But perfect aim is still better than charge shot and all that stuff. The range lets you outrange everything. Just busted. Okay, good thing we're one-shotting these mages, or else they'd be rather annoying. I will take... Do I need int to increase my damage? Uh, what's the max bow? So I'm at six, which gives me... Okay. This is long bow, so compound bow is what, two more than this? Eight, 16. It needs eight, so I need two more. Okay, two more decks, and then I take something else, I think is the way to go. They split themselves, that would be annoying. Yeah, they just split themselves. That's two of them. Take it. Yeah, I heard a door somewhere. Shouldn't be a problem. Freeze. Does freeze stop things from splitting? Does freeze stop things from splitting? No. Mm, yeah, not worth it then. What have you got for me? Nothing that I want. Vanish. Take that ability. All objects are bombs. What is defined as an object? You mean all items? Uh, do I want another one of them? If I knock him back into a bear trap, no, he'll already have split. I'll just take more evasion, I guess. Ability power? No, because I'm using my bow. That saves my life if I mess up. I'm not levitating yet. I take that as well. All the consumables. All walls are bombs. What? Um, I'm not sure how that will play, but it sounds crazy. And a lot of these crazy ideas have been fun, so I'll give it a go if you make it. That looked weird. Yeah. Yeah. Get you on the water at least. Double crits. That's the boss. Hmm, do I really want to verse another boss with 150 odd HP? Uh, I want to burst that healer in one go. I don't have perfect aim. I just tried a perfect aim, kill the healer. That's kind of funny. Yep, 
Yeah, we prefer the extra HP. Okay, that makes sense. Wonder if that kills him one. Mages haven't been annoying as I thought, but I did get power shot, I guess. Okay, we're gonna hold that. We might need to use it on a bow. Crypts, we have a chance of the spirit bow. See how lucky we get. Uh, let's go see if there's also the other bow as well first. Okay, we did pull. Uh, let's just run. I can actually... No, I can't. I was thinking I can sleep and bomb cycle him. But I can't really. Actually, I've got AoE sleeping bomb now. I might be able to do the same trick to kill one of them if I wanted to. So I'd have to... Yeah, no, there's no point. There's no point. I don't really want what he drops anyway. Let's check what is... Uh, boss, I guess. You know what? Let's not do that. I haven't met any of the hidden enemies yet. Any of the assassins. Thinking them splitting might be a bit annoying. Oh, wait, no, they probably split like the eels. <laughs> Talk about it yet. They split like the eels, so they're not annoying. Got nets for Yendo, which is nice. A perfect game, so I can't even do it that way. Tribute point, 18. That's maxed for a plus zero composite bow, I guess. I should have slept this first. Okay, we can just get around that like this. Kill the annoying one. Ice mages. Three ice mages. Why am I letting them get free shots on me? Ocean of energy, six of them. That means we can afford a lot of mistakes. Are we good? Is this the archer? Uh, I want to run away from this one. Sleep them. Just free sleep them and we'll be good. Yes, this should be the archer boss. Anything else makes sense? Uh, if I go from here... clearing as we want to be max level pretty much oh it's not the archer boss i spoke too soon that is really sad that's one chance gone uh for some reason the boss didn't follow us so we'll take it that's gonna split oh it took too much damage could have split We don't want to actually kill that boss, do we? And we're only here for the bow. What does that boss even drop again? Is it an item that gives int? If you could drop the crown, I'd probably be interested in that, I guess. until we drop some terrain. Mm, my fault. Yeah, it's just me and the boss. I do want that for the extra damage. Um, okay. Stealth. Let's pull from here. Run. Let's 
sweep once. Orb of fire. Yeah, summon hell portal. Okay, that's gonna be. Thankfully, that didn't split. Sleep. Get sleep back off cooldown. I have vanish in case I can't actually sleep both of them without sleeping myself. They do split. One. Sleep. Okay, get sleep back. Now the back one's gonna wake up. Okay. Crown of brilliance. Happy. I can actually probably kill all of this. I'm gonna vanish. Pop that one, sleep you. I'm not taking the additional items. You split again, that's fine. Okay, cool, we actually killed that boss. I will use that later. Back up. We need the side dungeon on the previous floor. This one, yes, over here. Yeah, there's nothing on here I'd need that crown for. That's very nice. Take it. 55 HP. Actually, I need um precision level 2. That's what I should be aiming for. Next. Something good here. Hopefully talent point. Nope, not yet. Take the parry. Okay, so we don't have to go this way. Sleep that, pull this guy, and the Necromancer, I'll take it. Oh yes, of course, everything wakes up, I forgot. Uh, bad, they split. What are Necromancers? Somehow everything just died. I'm not entirely sure what exactly happened. We take this for 40%. One crits. Enough damage. Oh wow, that was... Surprise enemies appearing. There's additional crits. I'll we'll sleep you. Got crits from the water here. I'm getting as strong as possible because I really feel like Yender is going to be very, very hard. Doesn't look fun. Huh, I didn't know that was a room either. Wait, is this static floor? And I've just never really seen it because... No, I would have seen most of it. Not as, not as good. Uh, I would. That one skeleton will come. Works for me. Have to run all the way in like this. There's more necromancers down there. Huh. They're all gonna start getting rezzed. And there's nothing I can do about it. Let them wake up and and go back down and back up. If I pull from far enough away, actually I can Ignore the resing issue that we have. If we have access, not yet. Good enough. Sleep again. Okay, all of that for a chest. See a scroll? Alright. Please give me... Actually, I need to find the archer boss if it exists. Is there my last real good chance for another bow? Do I need fortitude? Or do I want... Yeah, I'll just take fortitude. Off cooldown. Ah. 
keep forgetting they can take an action. The one that splits can take an action, I guess. Sleep you. Painful. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. I don't really fight these rooms, so I keep forgetting what's in them. Need to run out of sight so all the summons go away. I used the wrong ability, I meant to sleep among them first. Okay, let's just kill this guy first. I did that wrong. Yeah. No. Uh, no real points. I need to check this one over here, actually. No. Uh, three of them. And then we'll just try... First that, keep that under control. That wasn't too bad. Uh, it's more decks over that, I'll take it. Mm, how many of these were there? Two of them in the max HP. And they're all gonna wake up now. This one, boss? Nope. Uh, yeah, we'll kill this guy just because he's in an annoying location. Can we even sneak past? Yes. No boss yet. There was something around the corner I didn't want to wake up. I remember that. Yep. Okay, I think that might be... No, it wasn't. I thought it might be the Skelly Archer boss. Uh, there's no point even if I kill them. Yet, the Necromancer's alive. That split I really don't want to happen by itself. I'd rather assist. Uh, that'll wake them back up, so I may as well wait, then vanish. One Necromancer in the middle here. It is unaware, so I can just shoot it, I guess. take int now for the increased damage on power shots. Mm-hmm. Uh, take this, I guess. Three of these, so if I have to, I can upgrade that bow, but we are going to keep going to try and get a better one. Okay, that's more damage. Less range, but who cares? That's uh, also an item in here. Would be the vampire bats. I don't have storm shots. Okay, we don't get the other bow. That's unfortunate. Uh, we don't really need that shield. That's just going to take a long time to kill, and then we'll have the problem of the boss as well. Leash King, we have Blinks though. Yeah, let's just ignore that. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Kind of forgot that he could do that. Yeah, but is it worth the time for shield that gives like 18 HP? I'd have an un unkillable boss again. Oh yeah, that was there. Uh, if I can get to here, I can just sleep that lot. Which I think it still comes upstairs with me. Uh, not that one I was talking about, but yeah, that one came as well. 
Uh, which way were they? I think they're in the middle that I want to avoid. Yeah, crossbow's probably going to be it then, looking at this. As such, yeah, it's unlikely I get a better weapon than the crossbow. I don't think I even can. We max out the damage. Base damage is 11, so I actually need uh, 21. 21 decks. 21 decks. I could upgrade this for the decks if I wanted to, or I could save it. Mm, we'll see, we'll see. 52 damage, then power pot. And double crits. What? Ah, oh, because it's shorter range, and I don't have perfect aim at all. Sleep you. Are you still charging? Yes. Oh, this is going to be a mess. Let's get back up. We didn't get trampled, and I am happy with that. Yeah, feels like it, eh? But the extra damage will be super useful against all these enemies. Ah, wasn't quite that much damage. Okay, uh, we'll go up here. We need to get Sleeping Bomb back off, pull down. Oh, we can make it so it doesn't even split. Happy with that. Another Power Pot, also very happy there. Eliminate one of you. You're going to come around the side. You can just do this. Of course, you split yourself. My fault for not sleeping bombing at first, I guess. I wasn't expecting that to get a free hit like that. Okay, ah, uh, is it the top? No. Do I need more items? Expensive facing, two blade dancers. Nah, I don't feel like it. Ah, uh, this is why I took the levitation. Strong enough now. Yeah, can I rush this? Probably. I vanish. Of course I can. Get that all back. Okay, uh, this one. No. You know what? Since we're here. Ooh, very nice. Plus five damage, which is going to get boosted by all the crits. That's huge. That back again. I like this wall just because, you know, pretty free. If you have speed points. Okay, that actually makes a massive difference to our damage. Uh, upgrade, so we didn't actually get the level. This should give us more damage. 27. Okay. So, what we need to do is control Yender, eliminate these guys. Okay, our range is super small. I have. Yeah, okay, oh, that was one of the other shots flying off and hitting the side. I have a power pot per Yender. Don't want to use the summon wand. Mm, yes, because they'll split Yender uh, a lot. But is it worth netting Yender as well? Because he's going to wake up if I net him. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Because I can just... How many turns does net last? Eight turns. Okay. Oh, 337 damage. Uh... Yomiya, I think we're going to be able to handle Yenda just fine. Just a little sneaking suspicion. Nah, it works out. Better to do it this way. Okay. 
Uh, do I want to just take him straight up with this? Oh, if this doesn't work... No, this should work. Should work. i still got power. Uh, do I just jump straight through and leave all these guys here? I think so. Okay. Uh, I need to... Oh, no. Yeah, I drink this. I drink this. Control. No, nah, it won't split because it'll be under... If I keep dealing above 300 damage, it'll be underneath the requirement and I just have to kill the healers. Ah, uh, that's this. That's... Oh, that's splitting a lot. Funny. Okay, so I just need to kill the healers in one shot. I could just vanish. Uh... Using that will wake them up from Vanish. Why did I Vanish early? That's fine. I'll sleep. Ah, uh, the game just crashed. Okay. Uh, I should have guessed that, that would crash the game. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't win at all. We just have to end the uh, function for Rogue Fable and restart it. And then we'll be good. Good there. Uh, also have to make sure I re-input the splitting code. Or when I uh, restart the game. Of course Steam wants to update now. So I'm going to wait uh, two turns. And then give myself a goblet. Because that makes sense. Waiting for Steam to update because it chose now to update. Stupid Steam. Ah, uh, here we go. We please launch my game. Should have guessed that hitting the shield would uh, yeah. When it tries to split the shield, it's like, how does this work? Size, continue the game. Okay, so I'm gonna wait. Three turns. I'm gonna call that good. Well, oh, there's a shield there. Okay, so there's an invisible goblet shield here. Um, and now I'm gonna give myself for the second time in a row the goblet of yonder. Okay, I'm gonna drink one of these. Oh. Um, I don't know why he. Did ah, guess what. I didn't put in the split code. <laughs> I forgot. There we go. Uh, that's why Agenda didn't split just then. <laughs> uh, let's let's vanish. Run down here. Calm down. Okay. Do I really? No, I'm not going to wait 100 turns. We're just going to do that. I'm going to kill these over here. Am I flying? No. I'm just going to play it real safe. I don't think I have to do this, but I'm just going to do it anyway. Oh, the lava split. Makes sense. You're annoying up there. You're going to be hitting me. Okay, let's retreat back to here. Really? Yenda wakes up from that? You're still in vision. That's so annoying. Should be far enough away we don't get Yenda. I just want to kill one of these turrets. Cool. Get everything back. Sleep. We need to get rid of the healer. We have no complications. We need to net. Sleep again. I didn't drink a power pot. Banish this. Sleep, power pots. 
And there we go. Whew. Okay, we only had to kill one of them. Oops. Uh, a few mistakes there at the end, but uh, I think the uh, crash uh, threw me a little bit. But there we go. That is completing Rogue Paper 3 with every enemy splitting like a slime. Yeah, that was a fun challenge. So cheers for making that one for us, Rethlet.